So the next step is to texture the control panel on the projector. So the first thing we need to do is create the material for it. So it's the same process we've been working through time and time again. So it's clear the work area. This time I'm going to create a new blin because I want um, the, the control panel to look like it's kind of a shiny glass monitor. So I'm going to leave reflectivity alone on this one. So I'm going to click on the checker box next to color, choose file, and then under image name, I'm going to choose control panel diffuse, like so. And then that's the material made. Then what I've got to do is just find those two faces that I created earlier. So again, I'm going to have to put the projector into face mode. And I'm going to click on one face and then shift click the other so that they're both selected. And then I can right click. Oh, hang on. Before I do that, let me rename it. So I'm just going to call this, I'll call it monitor M. Okay, so I just have to select my faces again now. And then I'm going to assign this material to selection. Okay, so what you're going to notice at this stage is that the texture has been assigned, but that it doesn't fit. Now, with Maya, there are, again, a multitude of ways that you could fix that. But I'm just going to choose the simplest for um, this stage because this is a beginner's course, really. So making sure that you've still got those two faces selected. We're just going to minimize the hypershade for a moment. If you can't see your texture in this view, just press number six. Oh, there it is. And then what I'm going to do is whilst those two faces are selected, I'm going to click on UV. And I'm going to use Contour Stretch, which is a new... Um, you can see it's got the green right and it's a new option for this year. But what it does is it tries to fit the material as accurately as possible based on the faces you've got selected. So I give that a click and then go back into object mode. You can see that that actually now fits really nicely, which is what we're looking for. So we've now got that completed. Lovely. All that's left to do now on the texturing is to complete the scene. You've no doubt noticed that there are a lot of other texture files within the source images folder that you've downloaded. So what you need to do now is just create those materials and assign them to the right materials. Um, you will need to tile the material for the wall, but you'll only need to do that, I think it's on the U direction, not on the V, or vice versa. So give that a go, and then once you've completed that step, we will move on to lighting and putting some nice render effects in the scene. Once you've got everything textured, you can close the hypershade window, because in the next step, we won't be using it.